Have you ever heard about the cancel culture? Well, if not, then let me explain to you what it is. Cancel culture or color culture is a modern form of the ostracism in which someone is thrust out of the social or professional circles, whether it be online, on oh social God. media, or in so person. Much. Don't forget to call and let me know exactly when you'll be back. Get out. Those subject to this ostracism are said to be have called cancelled. And if you don't understand the meaning of the ostracism, well, I am here for you. Ostracism was an Athenian democratic procedure in which any citizen could be expelled from the city-state of Athens for 10 years. While some instances clearly expressed popular anger at a citizen, ostracism was often used preemptively. In short, what I want to tell you is that the boycott against Russian goods and products and often the Russian film industries are very similar to the ostracism or the cancel culture which now is predominantly adopted in the western countries. Since Russia began its invasion into Ukraine, there have been growing a number of the sanctions, bans and boycotts placed against the country to put an end to the war. But some of the measures were less commonplace. And I will discuss them in this video. The European Tree of the Year competition decided to exclude Russia's 198-year-old Turgenev Oak from this year contest. The International Cat Federation banned Russian cats from the competitions. It also won't allow cats read in the Russia to be imported or registered in any of its pedigree books. University of Milan attempted to cancel a class of the classic Russian novelist Fyodor Dostoevsky, following backlashes they patrated on the decisions. Paris Gravin Museum removed the wax figure of the Russian President Vladimir Putin. The museum says it is considering replacing it with a statue of the Ukrainian President Zelensky. Glasgow Film Festival dropped the Russian filmmaker Kirill Sokolov's latest movie because it received Russian's state funding. Sokolov said half his family is Ukrainian and he protested against the war since the invasion began. By banning these people from the international events, Europe is silencing the Russian protest voice as isolating people who want to stop the war together with people who want to escalate it. 